Hey guys, so today I have both a male and female Cecropia moth, and I thought I could take this opportunity to show you the differences between males and females and how to tell which you have. Let's see if I can get these two a little closer together so we can have a better look. Okay, so now we have the male on the left and the female on the right. First, let's just take a look at the color variations between these two moths. This has nothing to do with male or female, but it's interesting to see how much lighter and brighter this female is on her wing crescents and throughout her coloration. Now let's take a look at their antenna. If you look closely, you can see the male's antenna is thick and fan-like. Quite impressive, really. And in contrast, if you look at the female's antenna, they're about half the size. Not nearly as bushy and just very typical looking. This alone is the best way to tell males from females in this species, as well as luna moths and polyphemus moths as well. And next, let's take a look at their bodies. The males typically are smaller than the females, and this is due to the fact that females are sometimes carrying hundreds of eggs. In fact, some females are so heavy with eggs, they simply cannot fly at all without laying some to reduce their weight. So when taking both these things into account, it is easy to figure out which is male and which is female. When you have only one moth though, it is a little harder and the antenna are always a more obvious and easier way to identify one from the other. So now that you have had a good look at a male, you should be able to spot one the next time you see it. 